referred to as parentage by estoppel. Take a listen to this lawyer speaking on this topic. This is what the court said in that in that November 2015 case. This court stated that given its recognition that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will. If a man proposes to his girlfriend and she says, no, is the relationship over? Oh, that relationship is done. Pack your shit. I'm not doing it again. And to everybody that's saying, that don't mean it's over. That just means I'm not ready. Shut the fuck up. Every broke man's love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. It's not gifts because they can't afford it. Yeah. So I got the mics right. Your podcast, man. Podcast. <laughs> we back. Did y'all miss us? Yeah, I bet they did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I bet they did. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, we've just reached 100 episodes. 100 episodes. You know what I'm saying? 100. 100. You know what I mean? God damn. Time flies when you're having fun. Man, you know what's funny? So, Peanut, I go, I go in the rooms, I'm putting together her, her dresser and everything. Mm -hmm. So, she like, Daddy, put your put your, your, your name in here. She on a computer. You know, she was trying to Google my network. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> I, I shit you. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what She's are you funny. doing? I need to see how much money this podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him for $2 the other day. You would get me crazy. I'm like, I'm like, listen here, baby. Like, daddy. Yeah, like you, the, yeah, you, you Google yeah, you me. Got, you, got, you, you got my voice on there. I need to be making some money. Like, I need to get, ain't, ain't no money getting here. I know God what intellectual it. property means, dad. <laughs> I need well, my coins. <laughs> I said, you Google me, you gonna see a picture of me holding an eviction notice. Hey, you, better, you better stop. <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, first of all, where the hell did you find this website at? Wow. <laughs> you know Look, everything is at the tip of these, these kids' fingertips on these phones. Uh, yo, I said, what? Boy, I tell you, you gotta love them. You gotta mm. love them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, these damn kids, boy, <laughs> they ain't they number of miniature adults. Right. Oh man, this joint podcast. We are without, here without the money. Miniature adults without the money and responsibility. Call, yeah, listen, I call them my broke best friends. <laughs> That's what they are. They get all the perks and don't have to pay for yeah, it. Yeah. Hey. But we have for it. Yeah, man. Hey. And they got the nerve to be picky about it. Well, you think I could get the shrimp? No. <laughs> you got no damn money? Yeah, I don't know. No, they want the lobster. What you mean? Shrimp? That's for broke. I was people. in the supermarket yesterday. I'm like, okay, I can get you some macaroni. I can get Get you this. My son will say, "Well, can I get the sushi?" Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, whoa! Sushi is thirty dollars. <laughs> you gotta get this five dollar mac and cheese and keep it moving. You, you know, you know what I tell Peanut whenever she wants something. I'm like, spell it. <laughs> if you can spell it, you can have it. Okay. And when she starts spelling, she yes. don't be mad. When she you spelled yeah. tomahawk steak. <laughs> you like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want that. I want that twelve ounce, twelve ounce sirloin. Time too. <laughs> since you did, since you doubted me, Dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, oh, we are here. 100 episode. God damn. In the building. Oh, man. So let's get it started. Los of Dark Gable. Got my man CJ over here. Y'all already know, man. You know, hey. I do a lot, but I never do the most. And then you know. Yeah, baby. Sizzling. Yeah, I mean, honey dip. <laughs> you got you to you say it with the deep voice. Honey, no, dip. No, 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 no. Coming to an episode no. near you. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. What I do stays behind closed Whoa. doors. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, this is not this joint after dark. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, let's welcome to this show on podcast. we got a great show for y'all tonight. Please sit back and enjoy the show with some laughs. Watch some videos with us for one full hour. But before we get started, we need you to hit that like button, like, hit that comment button. Comment. Yeah, man, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe. And, and comment. And Come sit on, your in the next hug with me tonight. Y'all know how we do. Down. So we before make we make change. change. So should we should we start the, the first video? Should we just keep everybody in suspense or just get it cracking? Come on. Let's, get it cracking. Do what it do. Get it cracking. <laughs> and make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Is that is that how you be talk you be talking to your man? Oh, I'm talking to you, woman. Oh, no, no, that you ain't hear me. What is that how you say? be talking to your men? What men? I don't have no men. Do, All the people that don't that have the men always say they don't have the men. <laughs> ain't that the first thing they say? <laughs> that man? is not lying, true. Lying between they cheeks. Got Ronnie, Bobby, That's Ricky, Raw Dogs, them all. Got them all. Oh man! So yeah, so let's get that first video started, man. So what we got? What we got? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me get this. This the the, See, the, the prompt that joint go, ready. Yeah, ready. Hold on. Lord have mercy. Don't play me. I'm, I'm trying to find my cursor first because you know I me. Mean? This cursor be all over the joint. You know what I mean? I get this thing is started. Yeah, man. Where the first one at? Here we go. Very first video. A millionaire proves to a woman that his mansion is not a green screen. <laughs> oh I love God. it already, man. Yeah, nice. I mean, where that peanut at, right? Make your money, peanut. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Yeah, peanut. Let's go. You don't own that character. You're playing with me. You look silly. That's just like, you know, that's like sitting there. <laughs> Think about it. You said I'm in church. Matter of fact, looks- is that a green screen? That's a green screen behind y'all. Quit playing with me. It's a green screen. Walk down them hey, stairs. Please. Walk down them stairs. Come here. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Chill out, ass. It's a green screen. It's a green screen. Like okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's my black people. Go. Okay, walk down. Uh, <laughs> you petty. I, you I know that? black people never Tell them seen them. Say hi. Tell them to say hi. Oh, okay. Our black people never seen them like this. So so they don't they don't they think that it's real. Like they don't think a black like man, this. they don't think a black man, you know, uh, with more money than y'all favorite celebrities can actually own something like this. Huh? Son, son, you can go. I'm sorry. You because can, you walked in the mosque. You, you, you can go back to you can go back to doing what you were doing. Is, it, is your mansion bigger than Rick Ross? It's Take us uh, hold on. Some of so, you. Take wait, 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 hold on. You, we, we comparing, are we comparing houses to other people as if it matters? We sure are. See, see, let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something that, that, that y'all probably don't understand. Poor people discuss people. Middle class people discuss events. Rich people discuss uh-huh. ideas. We're only thinking about the ideas that make us more richer. We're not caring about who's who's and what's what's. And this person got more when your ass ain't got nothing. I okay. care less about their homes because I'm not in their house sleeping. I sleep in my okay. own home. I can I'm care less the, about anything they got going on. You I I he right. pulled out the knot on her. <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't even sit there and indulge in, indulge in that conversation with her. She's obviously very simple minded. Yeah, well, you oh, know, uh, I mean, he he was trolling her while she was trying to troll him. Man, flex on these hoes. <laughs> if they get out of character, flex, flex on, on these hoes. She talking all that dumb stuff about a green screen and all that. And he Pro- proved probably her wrong. never been in a house that size in her life. Right. That's why she kept mm-hmm. saying mosque because that's probably the only place she ever been in this that, that, <laughs> that, that she size. actually saw right a, sh- a, a chandelier yeah, you, like that. you aren't even paying attention to the water in the bag. That's exactly. Cool. You can like, see that he had a pool. Girl, I you can played see that. yourself. So again. <laughs> That man, whoever she was, I don't know what the conversation was about, but yeah, bro, uh, decline her. Like she, she should never speak to. to he should never want to speak to her again. Very, very small minded. Again, do you think people sit around and say, "Hey, Bill Gates, is your house bigger than Mark Zuckerberg?" Like, no, nobody that got money talking about that. Right. That's retard stuff. I don't yeah. know if we can say that on on YouTube. I'm sorry, no. but um. You know that's that's come on flex on them flex on them hoes. I'm yeah, I'm I'm curious on what type of stream was that or or was he talking to was he talking to a female over like um FaceTime or something? Yeah, because something maybe or, maybe because it says TikTok, so either he was on some kind of live, maybe TikTok or Instagram. I don't know because y'all know I ain't into the whole you know social media stuff. Yeah. But he obviously was on something live. But my thing is, is he obviously didn't know her like that for her to even be asking him questions. Yeah, well, he definitely put her in a place when he was like, yeah. So it's like he had to prove a point. But see talk me, about people, people right? yeah. See yeah. Me, I'm not gonna even sit there and prove a point. You know what? You know, I'm gonna let you think what you want to think. Goodbye. I'm not gonna indulge in this conversation <laughs> with you because you just dumb. Yeah, obviously, I mean, well, you don't know no better. You don't have nothing. You probably in the project somewhere with your little roaches and rats. Oh my lord. <laughs> And, 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 and did you hear her? And she told me she's not going to prove nothing. Right. After she didn't just kill that day and just kill them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kill or or her kill him Sliced or her. Them up. Yeah. Well, look. Let's read to the com. Let's read the comments. Okay. Let's see what the comments. So, said. one comment said, "Now he's petty because he told the truth." Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like she <Right> was. <laughs> you done played your ass, and now I'm petty. That's how it always yeah. be. You you prove something to somebody, and now they like, oh yeah. yeah you sat there and off. said you, you know, to walk down the steps. He done had his son walk down the steps, had a whole little conversation 
you know, with with his son, and now, oh, okay, now you petty. Yeah. What? <laughs> right, Who does that? So, so the next comment, next comment said the way he handled it was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> For me, I would have took the camera. Listen, Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. no. When they go low, we go low. Like, yeah, I'm gonna see you in hell. Cause I would have took, <laughs> I would have took that damn camera and walked down around and the walked around. I would have been in the pool. <laughs> Y'all been yeah, running water all over me. Yeah, it's, it's warm. I don't know where you at, but it's feeling good over here. Yeah. I would have went in the bathtub, just ran the oh water just gosh. to run. I would have. She would have been so mad at me at the end. That's too much energy for me. <laughs> Not me. Too much energy. Nah, I got all. Me. I got ADHD, so I got all the energy. <laughs> I would have been right. I got, been, I got all the time today, baby. I would have been on. On places I ain't been in in a month. I've been on the roof. Yeah, it looks like we got good quality shingles up here. Like, no. Nah. Yeah, you want to go there? We could go there. Hey, she said that a green screen boy he played it. So, <laughs> the last and third comment was now let's see her home. Facts. Right. Ooh, Where you boy, let me tell you something. If he would have said that, that would have killed her. She would. She she, she would have cut the line right there. She probably got a black mattress. She, and she, when I say black, meaning no, 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 mattress on the floor. Mattress she on the floor. She better have that deluxe <laughs> apartment in the sky. That's what she better have. She better have that deluxe apartment in the sky. Yeah, right. Because anything other than that, oh, yeah, I would have definitely. First of all, if she had a deluxe her. apartment in the sky, she wouldn't have that mentality for him to even, for her to even have that conversation with him, talking about, so, okay, yeah, that's a, that's a, where yeah. we, you get the money from or that you, you got a green screen because she would be thinking. Thinking in a more elevated type of a space yeah. and mentality, she wouldn't be thinking that. Okay, oh so no, that's she wouldn't not think really it's so his. superficial. Exactly. So it's my thing is, it's like, okay, if you really have any kind of money, like he said, rich people don't think like that. They they think about ideas and stuff like that. So the ideas of trying to make she, more money. She's middle class. She can't be because. I would consider myself middle class, and I don't even agree with the hell that girl was saying. I don't know. Dude. I consider myself poor. I don't know like you talking about. I'm talking I'm about poor. other people. That's you, can, why, you can consider that's, yourself that's poor all we, day. We I'm got not this poor. podcast, man. So we can I'm talk not about poor. People. I'm Just not don't poor have financially, look my network, and I'm not poor spiritually, <laughs> and I'm not poor mentally. I'm <laughs> not poor in any kind of way. So you can have that on your own. If she okay. asks what my name is, my name is Gerald Ronaldo Simmons. Okay, I don't. I don't want nobody look up. I don't want look. They don't want to look at. Uh, hey, hey, peanut, don't, don't look up don't CJ. Look, yeah, don't look up CJ. Uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, this is your own podcast. Hey, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. See, that's the thing. Don't nobody Tell know what my you think. name. They just know me as Honey Dude. So, hey. <sighs> Say it again. Hey. No, not the hey part, God damn people it. can do what they want. I am completely scrubbed we, off the internet. Listen, ah! we are they, Googling Honey Dip. You hot, can Google me dip, all you want. You hot, won't find a damn thing. I know, I, I know a couple Tell si- me what you find. I know a couple sites <laughs> it might pop up on. Look. Somebody might have stole that name and you want, yeah. you want some sites you that you don't want to be on. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Name, but it name. won't be accurate. It won't be me. Oh, my God. Here she goes. Tell me. Listen, tell us what you think. Drop a like, drop a comment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> so, so we going to haters. Just Let's haters. go. You know we love hating. you. Stop that. Hating. I don't hate. Stop that. Go to the damn you next got. video. Da- yes, my damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I, we know Mother's Day is coming up. Damn. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it is. It's coming up. Happy Mother's Day to me in advance. Yeah, happy okay. Mother's Day. That was very narcissistic. Yeah. Man. Anyway, what, anywho. Really? Really, CJ? Anywho. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is video number two. Parentage by estoppel. Did you know that a man can end up paying child support even in the case of dating a single mother? I'm sorry, YouTube. This is some bullshit. I'm, 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 Here he go. Yeah, we didn't play the video yet. Yeah. No, this is just, it's just out of control. He <laughs> went peanut at. It's, come on, I'll do it for peanut. You ready? It's this John Podcast. It's this Podcast. <laughs> hey, Jaleel. Let's go. Yep. It's referred to as parentage by estoppel. And it happens in a number of U.S. states. California is one of them. I don't know what the other ones are. Take a listen to this lawyer speaking on this topic. This is what the court said in that in that November 2015 case, this court stated that given its recognition that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will, which means even if you fuss and say, hey, not my child, that's not, you know, that's not my child. I don't want to be the parent. It's not that he even volunteered to say, I'm the daddy, call me daddy, call. No, against this will, they made this, this guy be the dad. 
consequently, and then consequently they burden him with the responsibility of paying child support. So what does this mean for the average brother who's hanging out with a single mom? What it means is if she can get someone to write a letter or someone to come testify that, uh, you know, he took my child to school, he picked my child up from school, he, he, he paid for my child's clothing, he took my child to the doctor, he babysat, he took my child to a baseball game, football game, but he overall spent his time with my child and heaven forbid, they call you daddy or stepdad, right? So now what mm. you're basically giving them enough facts to at least allege that you've taken on the fatherly role. So when you break up with your ex-girlfriend and you say, I'm done with you, you cheated on me, you broke the windows out of my car, I'm through with you. She can then go find a very, find a family law lawyer present to him that fact pattern, and then what? And then you get sued. You may not even have a sexual relationship with the woman. That's how expansive this can go. So even if you're dating a single mother, and then you interact with that child in any type of way that appears as if you are a parent, and if you break up, she can then use that against you and then you may have to pay child support. And if you do have to go to court, and then you end up spending thousands of dollars to try to get yourself off the hook. And I'm truly getting tired of hearing people say that real men will step up and take care of the kids. I'm sorry. If we wanna go that route, let's just say a real man knows how to protect himself. A real man is not a fool. People that say these types of things are not aware of the depth in which men are at a disadvantage in the court system. And not every man has the money or capabilities to litigate these types of cases. So if I was a man in the world today, with the way the laws are stacked against men, there's no way I would even come close to a single mother. I'm sorry, there's too many things that can go wrong. False accusations, the potential to pay child support even if we're broken up. Anyone that has common sense is not going to put themselves in a position to be taken advantage of. At the end of the day, the potential for this to become a lose-lose situation is extremely high. Right, so I would say to all the men, whatever states they have this law in, pack up and leave now. <laughs> <laughs> pack up and leave now, ASAP. No, well, I'm going to say this real quick. I'm going to say this quickly. For one, the state do not want to take care of anyone. Regardless, rather, is child support, welfare, the state, do, if, if the state can identify a father, oh, he paying, period. He it's pay, just and not, then, it's not fair, and though. And then with the, with, with, with the, the Title IV D, you know how much money the state makes off of child support? Oh, Man, it's, it's almost criminal. They, they getting rich. Yeah, of course. So, of course, you know they're going to bang you upside the head. With some child support, the attack on men is is, is underway. I mean, it's it's been upon us for years. But yeah, that's not fair though. That's not me, fair. Like, how you gonna do that? Like, if women are like, you know, I'm not saying like the feminist movement, but if women are looking to stick together and unify, this right here is something that they have to champion to get rid of. And the reason being is. That's if you're a woman, because because no, no nobody nobody no single, single mother. every single mother would be a, they will all be single. Yeah. They would never get a date because there's no man that's going. Think about it. Men don't marry because of the fear of getting divorced and losing losing everything. That's marriage. So imagine being imagine the fear of getting stuff taken from you and a, a kid is not, not even, even yours. yours. That's not so it's like <laughs> I'm never you. How many kids you got? Oh. A half of one? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't even know what that means. But no, no, thank you. No yeah. men will ever. So it's like to me, if if you're a woman and you know for a fact that you got a bunch of your friends and they single mamas and they looking for love, if something like this, you might want to go up to Harrisburg if it's in Pennsylvania, and you might want to be outside the courtroom saying, hey, "We need to get rid of this." Because I'm telling you, men are logical. We, they'll Where see that and be like, is. oh, no, um, uh, listen, it was Linda, Felicia, uh, Ronnie. Like, no, we don't want none of them. They all going. We don't want none of them. Mm -mm, no. Nah. Nope. That part nah. about it is I don't think that the women are going to do that. Like, They're perfect not. example, we had, we saw some videos where the girl was, it was a little while ago. The girl was in a Walmart with the guy and she was trying to make him pay for the stuff. And that was their first date. She didn't know that man. And she mm -hmm. was trying to make him pay for like her baby's pampers and stuff. 
No, you it got wasn't him. That, his baby. Yeah, it wasn't even his child. Like he had just met that girl. So no, like you got too many of these. I wouldn't even call them women. Unstable Fe- creatures. Exactly. These females that's trying to take advantage of these men. You know, and it's not fair. That that's just not fair at all. It's yeah. not fair to I the mean, guys. It was, it, listen, like, it's it's about making money. Period. The state the state is cool. making money. Now, I mean, but oh, my man, let's get some shout outs, man. We got L Boogie in the building, y'all. We, yeah, I mean, hey, in the building. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Now, man. T in the building, too. <laughs> do, I, do, I got a, do I got a boo button? <laughs> I got no boo button, man. Yeah, such a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got my man L Plaga O in the building, y'all. Yeah, I man, L Plaga. Let's see how he just be hating. Yeah. That is hate out of love, baby. Look, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna give T no shout outs. T in there. T I let's give T <laughs> let's give T a shout out, y'all. Really? T I T That's so dry. Oh no, wait a minute. Hi T. Hi, 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 honey really? dip. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> uh, it ain't, we're we're it ain't a soft a, guy. It ain't, a, it ain't a drizzle, it's a rain. Whoa. It's not even a war. <laughs> this joint after dark. There it is. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to subscribe to the Patreon for that one. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you gotta be a member free. to see what's going Thanks. on. <laughs> yeah, you mess around. Y'all might see me topless. Whoa. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting real spicy tonight. <laughs> yeah, hey, I got my motherfucking shirt off. I know there. it's warm outside, but woo. Y'all lighting the grills already. <laughs> no bottoms on. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. <laughs> Oh man! So listen, shall we go to the comments? Go ahead. Yeah. Shall go we to spend the to the comments? Yes, yes, yes. That's a good, hold on, L book is talking about pause. Now, no pause. Yeah, pause. No pause, baby. No ditty. Yes, ditty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, we get. Hold on. The first comment: One woman tried to do this with her neighbor who right. ba- who babysit who babysat once in a while. That's I'm getting my Ain't sister. That some bullshit. I'm getting my sister to whoop her ass. Yo, just right out the gate. That's crazy. Yeah, can you imagine? And he's just probably just being nice, and he's trying to help her out yeah. by being a single mom. Probably she trying to go to work or something like that, and here he is trying to help her out. See, that's why you can't. I don't even him. like little nut ass Turquavion. <laughs> I don't even like him. What's the name? Turquavion. Turquavion. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like him. I'm just, I just see you were struggling. I'm trying to help you out. I might have won DMs, but still, that's not the point. Oh God, the he point is, I was trying there. to help you out. Little Turquavion over here, he didn't eat up all my snacks. You didn't give me not a dime for him, and now you trying to take me to child support? I'm young you boy, even know him with his nappy ass here. You ain't even taking get no cut or nothing. No, no, that ain't see? happening. Nope. Now Tarquavion is going to be on the porch Tarquavion. by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, he's he going to go to work with on. you. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. And then I'm calling child services. Exactly. Right. We got an unsupervised child. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, oh, my man El Plock talking about loads to dark ditty. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that right there. Oh, Lord. Wow. Why did you say that, El Plock? And now you I'm met. A, oh, God. Oh, that so you got started. Hey, Plock, you coming to my party? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right, so wait, the second comment. Second comment says, no dating single mothers just to be on the same side. I'm side. telling you, this that's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, this that's that's what's going to happen. It's going, they going to be in Because that's just going to mess it up even for the women that's not even like that on mm-hmm. that whole It's going to be a vibe. whole lot of, how can I put this up? So YouTube don't flag us. Um, roses going to be on a premium. Yes. <laughs> not just roses. It's going to be a lot of um, scissors. Oh, uh, oh damn. a lot of scissors are going to just be out and about. Just oh, a lot wow. of a lot of paper going to be cut, a lot of going on. Oh wow! Yeah, it's going to take over because they're going to be alone. Alone now, most of them. <laughs> so what we got? <laughs> no, they not because they all they all settling for the same dude. That's what they doing. That's what oh, y'all doing. Oh, is there? that what it is? Ain't, ain't y'all? Ain't no. Don't put me in. We, that I'm talking thing. to the audience. I don't. Oh. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, tell us in the comment. So what we got? So the third comment that I sniped. Was it said, I'm a stepfather, even though it turned out good, I would not recommend it for any man because the road was horrible. Uh, I don't agree with that. Like, it's according to the person. So, like, if you mess with a woman and she has a child, I think it's, or vice versa, if a man has a child and, and you're the woman in the situation, I think it's the parent's responsibility mm-hmm. to create a, a safe environment for both the step parent and the child like bring them together 
you know, be the middle person to bring them together to ha help them create a bond. And then once they created their own bond, let them do their own thing. <clears throat> but I think that a lot of times or not a lot of times, sometimes, you know, that parent will let, leave it up to the step parent and the child. And then if the child, mm -hmm. you know, has some issues with the step parent, you know, just being a child or if the step parent has never been in this situation before and is uncomfortable with providing structure and discipline and things of that nature, mm -hmm. they may take a back seat like, hey, listen, you know, I tried to tell this kid to take the trash out. She spazzed on me. So it's like, OK, I'm, I'm going to just be hands off now until the parent creates it. So sometimes yeah. it's all according to the to the, that parent. If that parent is the type of parent that wants to make the, the, the relationship better, I think it'll work because I've seen it work a lot of times. Yeah. Well, El Plaga, he made a comment about, you know, him used to being uh, used oh, to did. dating <laughs> single women that used to heartbreak. They all used to. <clears throat> and a lot of times, to, and to an extent, that's true. And the reason why I say that is, you know, as me being a single mother, I'm not saying that I'm used to heartbreak, but just knowing single single women and going through certain experiences, yeah. what happens is a lot of times you come across and I think that's until you elevate and, and come to a certain level, a higher level of mentality, when you start to settle or date these guys that aren't worth shit. Yeah. And they just want to just, you know, as y'all say, just want to fuck or whatever. So, oh, we on um, YouTube. <laughs> Okay. Want to bump. <laughs> Where's the monetization? <laughs> so basically, you know, they these guys play too many games, and what happens is, is these girls start to, you know, develop feelings and emotions for these guys, and then that's where the heartbreak comes in at. But also at the same time, that's their fault too, because until you elevate and start to realize who this guy is from the beginning. You won't even have to put yourself in that position. Yeah. Ladies, here's here's the, here's the advice for you. Start treating them like hoes. OK, if y'all start treating us like hoes, right. it'll change. That's Tra what I'm do. Treat us like hoes. All right, I'm going to treat y'all like right. hoes. That's it. Because then they, they can't spin it on you. Treat them like hoes from the beginning. And, and tell them CJ said. I can't do so that. Wait it's hard so, for me to do So that. wait a minute. So T, let me ask you. Is there much a maturity thing? A woman will date a bad boy or or you know mess with the simps and all that until until they get old or hit that wall now they want the good guy is, that, is that a maturity say, thing it, it, yeah it does have to do with maturity and also has to do with a lot of time what a person goes through so because sometimes you know and it has nothing to do with age because sometimes some people just so it's not the wall thing no it's because, a maturity thing you yeah say. because like sometimes you just get tired you get sick and tired of getting sick and tired of dealing with the same thing over and over again and then you get to a point where it's like okay i don't want the physical i want the love like you know i don't want to just lay down with you i actually want emotions tied to it so people do get tired of that so you know but then you got some people some women that are wired like y'all men and, and, don't, yeah. and don't mind like playing they, and they play until forever come to the playground baby hey. <laughs> but listen this is one thing I say that what most people don't understand is like it, we do say it's maturity but I also say it's environment if you've never seen a healthy relationship how do you know that the relationship you're in is healthy it's or healthy not so it's like a lot of us men we, if you grew up in the 90s and you didn't grow up with your dad in the household where was you getting your relationship experience from it wasn't from your mom because you might not have been paying her no attention you was watching bet or you was watching some movies or whatever and the man he's the guy he's the it, he's a player we had a movie that came out in the 90s called how to be a player uh, that so it's was like my... so if you think about it sure. if you don't have any experience you're just doing what you you just emulating what you see now i grew up in a two-parent household but again my dad was a corny old head. I didn't care what he was doing. I'm like, okay, he married to my mom, but what that got to do with me? I didn't. I wasn't picking up on the values mm -hmm. because it was like, yeah, this is what old people do. So how I did that turn out for you? I'm sorry. How did that turn out for you? What do you mean? You said you grew up in a two parent household, so you're basically saying when people grow up with ma with mom and dad, like, does that make them any different? It could it, it could help. So like, I knew the I knew the structure of a relationship, but I was uh, I had a little situation when I was young, and it turned me out, and I was Play different. President. So that was different, but it's like at, at first, before my first girlfriend cheated on me. Yeah. Oh God. Before he's she cheated he, on me. He's still disgruntled. Oh my God. I, I was a Don't get him started. Listen. <laughs> anybody that know me knows I play I've been playing basketball since the age of two. When I met this girl, my my homie across the street, he would have sixes tickets all the time. When she came along, 
I was passing up the Sixers game to be in the house with this girl. Oh, he was and in she love. she cheated. So, turned me to a savage. But I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, it's environment. A lot of us are growing up in environments where we don't even see healthy relationships. We don't know what it is. So, we just try and stuff. And again, trauma. And that's just with anything. Trial and error. Like, yeah, you gotta so live why, and learn. But that's what I'm saying. Like, women will say that men are not this and not that. And I'm just like, where did they learn it from? You know, if you don't know, if you've never yeah. seen a healthy relationship as a man, and all you know, everybody around you is saying, even they do little boys. Okay, look at him, got all the little girlfriends. He in kindergarten. That's what they've been pumping into yeah. the kids forever. So it's like, what would make me want to be faithful to one yeah, woman? But it's and, always like a double edged sword when it comes to male and female, and you know that's a, like a whole nother subject. Oh yeah, that's a whole oh, yeah. nother subject. But I mean, it's a that was a good ass topic. I ain't gonna hold you though. But if they start implementing it. that single lady the moms. Man, yeah. Y'all gonna you know be what? struggling. Sorry, we, we need to find out. Is system. that a law in Pennsylvania? We need to find out. Parents all, by stop. Look, all, all the men gonna move. Whoa, Hold boy. Was, I we, know. We I know. Had, I know. We had a man. video before where a guy. It was like it was like a hundred women to like two men. Oh, that's my. <laughs> that's, that, yeah, that's my job oh, right God. there. That's that. that yeah. That right look, right you there. and CJ, y'all gonna popolize off of that one. I got my suitcase ready. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. So you staying? Look, CJ staying. <laughs> hey, parentage about stop. I know, look, I know look one of them diamonds you know will pop out. <laughs> so listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, uh, tell us what you think. Yeah, you know I mean, so, so where we at? We have video number three. three. Number three. Yeah. Number three. What's three in Spanish? T. I don't know Spanish. What is it? Uno, dos, tres. The, am I saying that tres. right, CJ? Tres. All right, see, he knows Spanish. Shame Say it again. Tres. Tres. T R tres. 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 Shame yourself. I, I all told them, you. I them, told you. Them, I didn't. All I didn't. Hispanics you dated in your life? I ain't never date no Hispanics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, before we go to the next topic, uh, <laughs> paternity by estoppel is in Pennsylvania. Just to let uh -oh, y'all know. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> just to let y'all know. Well, just to let y'all know. Well, you got, well, you, you, you got girls like this. Look, <laughs> look. Let me give y'all a, a fair warning. My youngest is eighteen. Y'all ain't gotta worry about shh with me. <laughs> I'm, uh, look, look, my kids is out of the picture. <laughs> yeah, they grown. They grown. Look, damn near grown. That's it. That's the only one. Oh, man. Let's go to video number three, y'all. Video number three. OMG Dre, TikToker, would like to know what do y'all think? <sighs> the peanut guy. Where's peanut? Come on, peanut. Let's it's take it. This jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. I got all the credentials. I can answer these type of questions. If a man proposes to his girlfriend and she says no, is the relationship over? Oh, that relationship is done. Pack your shit. I'm not doing it again. And to everybody that's saying, that don't mean it's over. That just means I'm not ready. Shut the fuck up. You don't like that boy. Me personally, if I ask a motherfucker to marry me, we done been fucking with each other for a little while. And I decided in my mind, that the feeling is mutual. I put that down payment on that ring and I'm still making them goddamn payments. And bitch, if you say no, don't expect no new ring. It's going to be the same ring. It's going to be the same ring. I ain't changing shit. I'm not going to go uh, 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 renege on these payments and get my credit fucked up. It's going to be the same fucking ring. But if you say no to me, you ain't got to worry about that fucking ring no more. I'm going to take the bitch back. You know what? Fuck, I'm going to keep that bitch for my next wife. What the fuck are we wasting time for? We are done. What you see is what you get, bitch. Me is me. Me ain't gonna change. If I ask you today and you say no, what the fuck is tomorrow gonna change? You gonna be ready then? Bitch, no. Me is gonna love me regardless. And me is trying to marry you. And if you say no to me, well, bitch, me and myself and I gonna get the fuck on and you don't gotta worry about us no fucking home. Me, myself, what you see and I. Mm -mm. <laughs> is what you get. Oh, I'm sorry, you old head. Oh, what you see? I'm not for the BS. <laughs> Look, I'll marry you, old head. No, thank you. Listen, let me tell you something, old head. When I, when the old head tell you, hey, listen, I'm coming. I want them drawers. So I ain't for that bullshit. That, that's old head right so there. Well, that's uh, unk. I still gotta that's be unk. physically attracted, and he doesn't look like anybody I would be physically attracted to. So he said, me. I'm here for. I'm telling you right now. I, I, I bet you he got plenty of skins in the day. Hey, I, look. He said, I'm here for a good time, a long else. time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Listen, I had a boy. Boy, he's still my boy. You know what my man pickup line was? He would roll over a girl, but hey, listen, hey, baby girl, are we fucking or what? Whoa. Oh, yeah. That was that, my Whoa. man. Shout out my man Whoa. Chuck. Shout out my nice man and Chris. Nice and blunt. Yeah, nice okay. and get straight to the point. Shout okay. out my man Chris. Ain't, I ain't got was. time but if you buying you roses and oh, all that bullshit. Damn. Okay. Hey, to the point. Shout out my yeah, man Yeah, I mean? Chris, but bro. anyway. <laughs> anyway, so okay. wait a minute. Go ahead. I'm going to let CJ kick that one off. For me, he spit the facts. Like, 
if I again we I just said it, but men don't want to marry because of divorce and other things. So the fact that this man got to that threshold and was ready to do that, and you said no, mm -hmm. that th at that moment your paperwork and your file is revoked has mm -hmm. been terminated your your yeah. your employment <laughs> you better start looking for cobra some benefits <laughs> some somewhere else because guess what this is it's immediately a termination and effective immediate termination. immediately immediate. listen you better hope that by the time you get your stuff out that i ain't already on scrolling down instagram Look, listen I, I got a couple extra hundred dollars now oh, i ain't gotta pay for no hair no nails <laughs> who outside because i'm outside like no it's over instantly tripping <laughs> look, i don't blame him Go ahead, T. so what do you I think i don't T? blame him look my thing is is like when i'm dating i'm dating to marry not to play games yeah. so like if you if you're not in it for the long haul leave me the hell alone go play with somebody else go play with somebody else's time because i get one life and you're not gonna play with my life because I don't play with it. So just leave me alone. Don't play with it. Don't, don't play. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play. I remember I had I had proposed to a girl one time, and she told me, "Yo, let me tell you something. I was fucking crushed. Excuse my language, YouTube. I was crushed, man. You know Why? when somebody tell you no? Oh man. What? Or or I'm not ready. Yep. And you know what? And trust me, when he say, "Oh, it is over. It is over." Mm hmm. There's no way in hell you can come back from that. You can't come back. I won't. I refuse to come back from that. Because to me, it's telling me, for one, you're, why aren't you ready? If I'm, we've been I'm together, the one that's supposed like, to, I'm the one that's supposed you, to take care of the family. What have we been doing all this time? Yeah, exactly. For, you know, point blank, what are you really going to bring to the right. table? Because I'm bringing a house. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm bringing a financial security. Come on now. Here's the why thing. the hell you ain't ready? Yeah, here's the thing. What makes you not ready? There you go. That's what I'm saying. Because uh, again, to me, the only thing that makes you not ready is that you don't want to commit because you got an ulterior motive. Right. Because mm -hmm. to me, it's like we doing we're, the, the, the stuff that we're doing in the relationship is not going to change now that we got a ring and signed a piece of paper. No, nope, we just solidified it for the people that need that, you know, verification and that val validation. We solidified it. So nothing should change. We should just take this from now. I'm Mr. Moore and you're Mrs. Whatever. to now we're both Mr. And Mrs. Moore. That's it. So mm -hmm. like the fact when you tell me you're not ready, then guess what? You ain't ready for my money. You ain't ready for my time. Yeah, but you see, ain't ready the for person my energy. knows I'm that out. they're not ready even before the person even proposed. Because hey. my thing is, it's like at the end of the day, a woman can tell when a guy is like really getting interested. And at some at some point, it's like okay, if the woman don't feel like she can elevate with this man or or look at him in a long term, what's the point in wasting your time or wasting his uh, his time? Unless they're there for some kind of benefit. It's nine times out of ten, I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Ex listen, exactly. Because, I mean, there's no, again, there's no way in hell. I'm going to propose to a woman. She tell me, no, you still think we're going to be together? Right. <laughs> man, hell no. <laughs> I'm like my man Gilbert Arenas. So I'm I'm getting that ring back, and I may replace it with a well, it's nothing a to get back. <laughs> it's, look, it's nothing to get back. She said, look, it's nothing to get back if she said no. You never gave it to her to begin with. <laughs> oh, you talking about the guy that gave the ring? Oh yeah. Yeah, smart. replace it with yeah. replace it with a fake man. one. My man, smart. my man Gilbert boy. Yeah, that was that was smart. That was yeah, smart. I mean that was savagery. Yeah, that was smart. You know, you know she tried to sue him. Yes, yes. she did, and she lost. The yeah, ass. yeah, she's, I mean, a she's a clown fool. anyway. She my man. Kill. She been a clown. That just goes to show. But see, my thing is, is he didn't see that beforehand. No, they, listen, just like y'all good at disguising stuff, like y'all say we good at disguising stuff. Y'all are very good at disguising things too. We'll th we'll be thinking that y'all into us and oh, you the oh you the uh, you the apple of my eye and all that, and you really just trying to get my bread. And I just was thinking that you was deeply in love. Well, and she was that's just why you got to be with a person long enough to or just pay attention to a person and get to know them, not the representative. That's but, a but lot of times what? people only know the representative. Uh, well, you know, uh, listen, let me let me let me tell you that's still a slippery slope. Because when when I got married, my 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 marriage only lasted like a month. Damn. And why because I that? wound up marrying a representative, not the person that how, I knew for how long did you know 15, her? 14, 15 years. Oh, wow. You telling me that she had a representative for 14, 15 years? Well, some people... No, she had that dick dastardly on the side. So... <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see? But you don't know. You don't... You just don't know so who you married. So my question was, is what were you not paying attention to? Let me tell you something. A man... 
What were you not paying attention to? You um, wasn't paying attention. Man, you, um, you, 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 it's something it that you wasn't so, paying attention to. Might have been listen, Michael listen, Jackson. Listen. Working listen. Damn yeah, night. yeah. I mean, I, I did work a lot. That yeah, no, still don't I mean, mean you're listen, not supposed but, to pay attention. But it takes a man. A man doesn't snoop. A man. Right. It's not a man about does, snooping. No, it's about no, being attentive to your no, woman. No, no. no I'm being attentive. She's the breadwinner. You, if, 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 no, I'm being attentive to make sure that we got a roof over our head. We got food in that refrigerator. Them bills are paid. And she you know still I mean? could and, be going out there getting laid. And, and that's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so basically, it's no all man, right. a man, so basically no man, you mean, and you basically, no you man. telling me once you, once you financially provide for a woman, that's all you supposed to do. You're not supposed to provide for her fin- uh, emotionally. Let me tell you something. There, let me tell you the, the, the day. A lot of women live live in this fairy tale thing where they 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 want a man time, but then they want to be financially secure. If you want to be financially secure, I can't give you that time. So I'm why working not? all the time. You know what? See, this is I'm making my money. If you if you got the right woman, she's going to help you, and she's going to actually she's going. And to that's con- why I'm divorced. And, she, I didn't have and she's woman. going to contribute to that to that <laughs> empire. You're but not going to exa- just get that, a woman that's right? just going to take take take. Right? You want a woman that's going to actually provide and give to. Right? You. Exactly. You said it. Exactly. I didn't have the right woman. And she you wasn't sure that did. woman. <laughs> <laughs> she played you know the part for 14 years. Yes, time she to get, get busy. She wasn't. She didn't play. Yeah, but anyway, this your podcast. <laughs> Damn, man, we ain't had time to read the comments. But you know, let's <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was a hell of a topic. Boy, I like that one. Boy. <laughs> I like that one. Shout out to I'm OMG Dre. <laughs> OMG hey. Dre, man. TikTok hey. creator, man. OMG Dre. I had to give him a follow for that. Mm, that was I had to give him, you know I mean, oh, hey, I like oh, hey. <laughs> okay. I like. I don't like the OMG part. That's oh, my God. And that's, that's <laughs> a little oh God, sassy Dre. right there. <laughs> that's a little sassy. <laughs> hey, we just going to call you OMG Dre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just going to call you Dre. <laughs> you Dre. All right, so we've got, so we've got, uh, do I got number video number four already? Oh, let me make sure, because I don't you want, want T to get on me. Look, I ain't gonna even say nothing no more. You know her thing. Stay ready, get ready. I ain't gonna even say that no more. It is what it is. You already know what you're supposed to be doing. You know the last woman that said that oh, got pregnant. <laughs> oh, damn. Look, Gia was meant to be here, but we're not gonna talk about your decisions because obviously your decision making wasn't that wasn't Whoa. that good. That's so video incredible. number four. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's how you cut her off. We went from, we went from after dark uh, skin max to therapy. We all over the place. We had, we got we had a whole therapy session up here. Hey, it is what it is. This is look. This how y'all know. This this is just real. This ain't rehearsed. It ain't rehearsed. Goddamn it. We do our shows live. Facts. You know what I mean? So video number four. We got a TikTok creator. Court is it is it? Let me say that. Corduroy. Corduroy. Corduroy underscore. Says these are the only love language broke men are able to provide. You can always tell us about us. Yeah, ain't that something? You know what I'm saying? Where my, where my, where my girl? Where my girl at? It's this jump. I wonder podcast. How, how much money she got. Oh. Let's go. Every broke man's love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. It's not gifts because they can't afford it. It's not quality time because I find that like broke men, they're split 50-50. There's broke men who they like on are on a hamster wheel. You know, they constantly are working like a bunch of odd jobs or blue collar jobs or whatever. And they're not really making much money. So they have to keep working, working, working just to make a living. So therefore, they don't have time to spend with you or... They're extremely lazy and they just want to like spend all of their free time playing video games. And it's not acts of service because typically broke men are broke because they are lazy and they're not hard workers. And if they're not hard workers and they want to do the bare minimum in in life, they don't really want to perform an act of service because that would require way too much energy. Physical touch and words of affirmation are free and it's very easy for them to give you to provide you with those love languages so if those are his two main love languages it's highly likely that he's broke please what? i'm what? sorry did you know, i say nah, that i'm sorry did i say that i didn't mean to say that i didn't mean to say that out loud please elaborate <laughs> first of all chick how much money do you have for you to even keep constantly talking about what a broke man has, because that's just going to show 
what her mentality is and who Thank she you. keeps selecting. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously you must keep dealing with broke men. So therefore, how much money do you have? Hold on, hold on. Right. How much money right do you have? Pay it right on the market number. Jalil, Jalil said it best. How are you not a hard worker and you work in multiple jobs to make ends meet? <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm saying. That don't make sense. If I got a bunch of odd jobs, how am I not a hard work? Like, what are you talking about? And, and then, then she's another saying, thing she talking about like is a, a a person a person's financial status has nothing to do with their love language. And, a person's yeah, yeah. love language has to do with them personally. Has nothing to do with their financial or social status. She just just. But the just thing the about it is, most <laughs> most broke dudes are going to do words of affirmation, of course, because they want to, you know, they couch warriors. So yeah, but. Your, like you said, your love language ain't got nothing to do with me being broke. Broke is mm -hmm. just broke. Right. Like, I'm broke because I don't want to do nothing. Ain't got, I know guys who are broke. They got all the love languages. They got gifts. They ain't got a damn dime. But you didn't <laughs> bought this girl. I bought a tennis bracelet. How? You can't afford a tennis ball. How you buy a tennis bracelet? <laughs> but then you asking me to buy you a drink. When we, yo, the, you know the, 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 the playoffs tonight. We going out to the bar. You just spent your tennis bracelet money. <laughs> now you want me to buy you a goddamn drink? No. So I don't know what she talking about. I didn't met broke guys that they 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 do all of the love, love languages. Broke so, guys, whether the, they got a, that, whether they have money or what. Like once again, it has nothing to do with how mm -hmm. little or much money a person has. Like people just just want to just want attention. I think she just wants attention. Yeah, well, you know, most of the people they put their stuff on on the internet because they want the, the attention. They want people to reply. You know, talk shit about them, and we gonna do it. Shut your <laughs> ass yeah, up. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I said. Right. And we gonna do it. You know, but she completely contradicted herself. You know what I mean? She didn't know what she was talking about. Like, how do you say talking. one statement one second, and then the next statement was the total opposite, and then you trying to justify it? Yeah, like, well, do you then, do you even know what you're saying? Well, well, let me ask you. Well, I mean, what is her definition of broke? Because I mean, you, exactly. you can work, you can have like. A, a fast food job right and then leave that job and then working for ups hey, corduroy what's your you know definition what of broke hey yeah. comment on our posts and tell us <laughs> yeah. what's your definition of what's broke because i'm broke? i'm curious because i mean it, I'm curious is, 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 is her broke someone who's making ends meet and not rich is that her broke that's, but that's not considered broke you like can, i don't know what she's you talking can about. make fifty thousand dollars a month and have a living expenses of sixty thousand dollars a month. Well, guess what that makes you broke. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the amount of money you have. It's how you spend it, and you can be a broke ass millionaire. Mm -hmm. it, it happens every day. So well, like, yeah, what do you? I mean, most of the time, a lot of a lot of millionaires are broke because their money is so tied up. They yeah, are but cash you know what? They, they, they are making cash. those. They those loans. are investments. Yep. They're they are putting into their future. So that's different. Yeah, because yeah. their 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 philosophy is okay. You know what? Let me let me let me be broke right now because by the time I retire, I'm gonna have all this money and it's gonna be working for me, and I ain't gotta do a daggone thing, and I can just live the way I wanna live. So that's yep. what investments are. Yeah, the right on the number. So let, let's go to the comments. So comment says, as soon as I hear physical touch, I'm out of there, and that was from a woman. Mm. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is wrong with physical touch? I thought getting in a relationship with somebody, I thought male female are supposed to be physical but then the, the human is human nature to want to touch them exactly. but then they will turn around and say oh you ain't want to touch me i want you to touch me <laughs> you I'm, touch confused. Else. I'm confused yeah. look look then they'll be like okay what what itch yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you've been touching oh, oh yeah oh, oh, you've been touching god is make who, up who you your damn with? mind <laughs> that's why i say y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta come together unite in some kind of woman council and come up with some some standards that we can we can understand you can't i can't touch you because i can't be physical but then if i don't touch you and you oh well, what you don't like me you ain't even mind that like it's just it's too many rules we can't keep up man we kind of like monolithic when it come to that. Well, you, <laughs> you know a lot of us women, we, 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 you can we, touch we you operate touch. off of emotion. And I, I will say that I will admit as a female, we do operate off of emotion. Yeah, well, no, no, time. Mean, the women are female are emotional creatures. Well, make but, up your damn mind. But she just didn't make no damn sense. <laughs> so wait, so another comment says, there's no such thing as quality time with a broke man. It's wasted time. Dumb. Mm. <laughs> Dumb. Right what is it? What is DJ? Dumb. Hey. That, that makes no damn sense. Okay, because again, 
if he's broke and he's choosing to be broke, you shouldn't have never wanted to spend time with his broke ass anyway. Right. So that's, there you that's go. your fault. There, oh, wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute, where are you going to meet all these broke men? <laughs> Like Cat Williams said, if you keep me, if you keep me in a bunch of ain't ass men, then it probably that yo kitty cat ain't ass, ain't ass, mm-hmm. and you attracting all the ain't ass, right? Like what the hell? Like they just not sitting at the 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 local grocery store. You just finding a whole bunch of broke dudes. <laughs> like you going somewhere where they broke. Because your broke ass is probably broke as he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, wait a minute. I know now this one's going to be enjoyable. This comment says, broke girls don't think they're broke. They think they're in the wrong relationship. Say it. <laughs> oh, wow. I say, say it again. I, I say it. amen. Say it over one more time, preacher. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. Broke girls don't think they're broke. Come on now. They think they're in the wrong relationship. Speak that sermon. Can I get amen? Amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Listen, if y'all out there on YouTube, pass the collection plate around. Because the, the sermon has, the word has just been spoken. Broke girls are, yeah, that's the thing. Y'all broke as hell, but y'all never think that, oh, I, I can't mess with him. I hate when a woman says something like, You broke too. What makes you I think just because uh, you're a female, you can't be broke? Like, come broke on. Ass. Oh, you know what? I should, I should, oh my God. That comment right there, boy. Corduroy, yes, please. Corduroy. It's so Find many. Find us on Corduroy. YouTube Listen, and please tell us boy. what your definition it's of so broke is. Many, I really would like to know. It's so many ways for women to make money. And I ain't even talking about OnlyFans and that type of stuff. I'm just saying, like, babysitting. That's a job that normally women get. Most most men ain't babysitting. Uh, like, administrative. Just certain jobs well, I that mean, just... It, it, I would like, just say it's just women. I'm, no, I'm it's, just saying, in this instance, there's a lot of... It's, we can there's find a lot of easier, easier jobs. jobs. Exactly. That women easier can get. Jobs. And it's like, y'all broke asses think that y'all supposed to be in the Bentley when you really should be on the bus. Damn, what, you not gonna give him a Honda? No, you should. Your ass should be <laughs> scanning that SEPTA key card or whatever it's called <laughs> and filling it up on your on your, on your phone. Back door, what yeah. is it? Back door, yeah. Back door, dickhead. <laughs> right. You should you should be saying back door, <laughs> Like you should be saying in your sassy voice because that's where your ass should be on the bus. So, like I hate. Oh yeah, because he 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 need to step it up. And you don't? Right. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> your refrigerator you sounds like a lawnmower, but you talking about some I need to get I need to get my money up. I thought you had a damn generator oh, in, the, in the kitchen. It's your refrigerator buzzing because it's about to die. Get the hell yeah, out of here. Yeah, they, they got the old box fan in the window. Yes. So oh, coming here, it's, it's hotter than <laughs> Egypt in, in the summer here. Talk, talking about some, oh no, it's not that bad. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because my dad still got a box fan, but let me tell you something. He's a, He's a senior citizen. This is going on now. You know, Let senior citizens. So no, no, see it. Come night, on, cause that's their up, thing. Hold up, hold up. At night, that that fan be giving off the best air. He he's got one a of them senior old citizen. school fans, <laughs> and it be feeling like the hold air wait, conditioner you know the is on. Uh, tell me, you don't got the old metal joints. Yes, he does. Oh my you god! You know what the difference is? <laughs> He ain't out here asking somebody to buy him some Balenciagas. That's the <laughs> big difference. Go. Okay? He doing his own thing. There you go. There you go. My oh man, El Boogie told him, amen. So, that, yeah, so, Corduroy, we want to know. I, I had to follow you. So, if this your own podcast is following you, that's me. That's Los. Yeah. No, no, that's Los Dark Diddy. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Uh, he think he Brother got a love. name <laughs> <laughs> Brother Love. Brother <laughs> Love. Oh, man. So, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what and you think. And subscribe. Yeah, you heard the woman. So, yeah. uh, video number five, last video. Number man. five. I will be flying by. So, what we got? Manda's World One TikTok creator says, You talk too much. Mm. You never shut up. Mm-mm. Hey, what you know about that Run DMC over there? What you know about that? Nothing. What? I don't know. I don't know. Wet, yeah, behind, yeah. wet behind the ears. Yeah, yeah. She don't know what about that old know. school hip hop. Anyway, we're peeing on that, man. Listen. It's this John Podcast. Oh. Uh, we ain't ready yet. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> oh, my God. I'll keep you on your toes. <laughs> now, now, who's wet behind the damn ears? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rule number one. Never talk about your man to another man. In fact, never talk about your man to your homegirls, especially your city girl homegirls, or your parents, especially your mama. So I'm going to say this. 
a lot of you think that you have male friends and that these male friends are here to listen to you and you can trust them. Most of these men who you think are your male friends are sitting in position waiting for you to get vulnerable enough or stupid enough to vent and then they're going to conquer the cooch cat and now your value is down. And then let me tell you another thing. You think venting to your city girl, home girls, I'm gonna tell you there's two positions that those type of friends are, are going to play. Number one, she's gonna wait for you to fall back because then she's gonna sleep with your man. Number two, she's going to convince you to leave that relationship so you can be a city girl too because misery loves company. Saying nothing's wrong with the city girls, that's a movement, I support it. However, a lot of you think that you have a circle of friends that you actually do not have. A lot of you think that you have a lot of people that are extremely loyal to you that are around you, but you really do not have that. There are a lot of people that are sitting right next to you right now that you believe have some loyalty and you can trust in, but those people are secretly in competition with you and they want what you have. You have to sit back and start evaluating the people that you have around you in your circle. I would ask my friends, you know, how many of your homeboys have you slept with? Have you ever slept with any of your friends, man, any of your friends, man, before? Ask your male friends, how many of your homegirls have you slept with? The answer might surprise you. And then the bad thing about, I won't say every mother is like this, but the bad thing about talking about your relationship and especially venting to your parents, your parents' job is to protect you and to love you. So now, after you done being mad at this man and you brought him back around, now there's animosity in the air. And then, since you've told all these people these things and your ego gets the best of you, now you're treating that man some type of way because you don't want to feel stupid or you don't want to look stupid. When all actuality, you created that environment for that judgment to be placed on your partner when you really just needed to keep your business to yourself. Because fact of the matter is, when you go to venting like that, you know you're not going to leave anyways, which is totally fine. I'm for love. Work it out. Read a book. Study each other. However, you're going to create that animosity. Then you're going to be walking around trying to act all hard and you're going to start treating that man away. And then when he reacts to how you treated him or how the family has treated him, then you're going to be mad at that man. So again, I'll say this to say, keep your business to yourself. Your friends are not always your friends and you need to evaluate your circumstances. Word friend very loosely. Mm -mm. Word? No. 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 First of all. He said, First you with somebody that you think is going to smash your partner, that should not be your friend. Like me and my best friend, it was times that he was cheating and he would ask me to drive his girlfriend home so he can get his side chick into the crib. That ain't happening. And so me, I would take his car from South Philly and drive his girlfriend all the way to Germantown. And I never had the thought of like, ooh, let me try to say anything to her do like that's weird to me so it's like at the end of the day y'all gotta pick y'all friends wisely exactly is that mm -hmm. your friendship and even <clears throat> no matter what you tell them you could tell them whatever they should always be riding for you and never had no ulterior motive that's number one number two she is right though like some people you just can't tell them stuff like you just it's just not it's not none of their business Ain't no some people for me personally my relationship is between me and my man. So what we go through, we are together. We're going to yeah. work it out. And the minute you start taking that relationship outside of y'all circle, that's when things start getting messed up because then everybody got their own little opinion. No, my our relationship is me and you. I'm mm -hmm. going to, it's, it's nothing for anyone on the outside to me, an outsider to know. But so I, think I, that, I think that it's healthy to get some, some, you know, dialogue from others especially but, if they're in but, a relationship yeah, but, but if you're but talking then, to single with people but that's, then stupid, that's but. when that's when you should seek professional you, you should talk to a professional i mean yeah i i understand that too but even still like for me if if my if my community or my village around me i want them to, i want to i want them to be able to protect me too so like i want to come to y'all first and get y'all your insight hey you know you've been married however many years um, I'm kind of we kind of yeah. struggling with this. How did y'all get through? Like, I want some real live, you know, examples of yeah, people that so, I know. I mean, but you, again, that's why I said just being like, you she know, has careful. some valid points. Like, she definitely has some valid points. Like, especially yes. when it comes to like you know family and friends. However, not all friends, especially when it comes to females, are always going to take your side. Like, you do have some females. You never you never know who is plotting on your man or your woman because. It happens. Oh yeah, oh, it it happens. yeah. Trust me. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When, I, when I was when I was in my start, youth, you, it you gotta you gotta really have a full understanding on who your friend is. Is because the minute you start telling your business, that's when they start sneaking in like a little snake and finding their way through. And next thing mm -hmm. you know, your friend 
is is effing your man or yeah, your Jessica, woman. I understand. And listen, let me tell you something. You got you. you want to go get some hookah? Young people do that a lot. Because I, just, I ain't say just young people. I just say young people do it a lot. They don't have no care. Because, because they don't know. You just humping. But you, you know, as you get older and start experiencing those things, like, oh shit. No, I mean, my last girlfriend tried to take my man, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Right. But young people do Because I, I know when I was young and I was in a relationship, I would, I would tell them, yo, man, keep your mouth shut. You right. know what I mean? Stop telling our business right. to your friends. Right. But, and especially your friends that have never been in good relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not That's taking advice. Right there. Like, I got homies. They ain't never, I've never seen some of my homies. I've never seen them in a relationship more, not even a year. So why would I go to him like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm struggling with my woman. Like, I know, uh, but what advice what he kind of advice me? they gonna give they you? They can't tell me nothing. So no, it's like no, you got to be aware of who you tell your business to, and again, see how they move. Te- test the water. You're right. Give them see, something yeah, like you. Yo, I give it to you. Right. Listen. Um, see, see how they move. Tell them about somebody else. Yo, I seen so and so girl out there. Da, 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 da. Just to see if they're gonna spread it. That's how I test all of my. I tested all of my friends. I tell you something that I might not be a big deal, but I just want to see if it get back to them people. Because if it do, I know how it got there. Exactly. And yeah. it's like, all right, yeah, I know who yeah, you are. Yeah, then I know how to yeah, move around. I, yeah, I ain't telling you yeah. nothing. I'm already a private person. So if I if I feel like I got an inclination that you're gonna tell my business, you probably won't even know my real name. It ain't happening. So what? So let's go to the comments. So one comment. I told my ex the same thing. She told me that I'm being insecure. What do you think, T? No, that's not being insecure. That's just pr- being protective, being yeah. protected over himself, being protected o- over their relationship, and also having respect for her. I don't think that's being insecure mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you. He probably knocked her off. Damn, let me stop. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Listen, to that. look in my youth, in my youth. So look, the next comment. Unfortunately, common sense is not common knowledge to many. Dealt with this three times already. Never again. Oh, see now that's your dumbass. One hundred. How do you deal with again? How do you deal with three times? Right, because okay, first time you didn't really know. We don't know if that was a male or female. Either or. But but, I'm just saying, regardless, first time okay, you ain't really know. You should have learned by the second time, and then you done went through it the third time. I ain't giving you. I don't get. There ain't no three strikes in you off of me. I don't play baseball. (laughs) I'm cool. The first time that that was the that was the the red flag. The next time you cut. Right. It's that serious. I mean, it's that simple. Yeah. Like, no, like, yeah. come on. Yeah. So we got another comment goes both ways for sure. It does. Of course. Yeah. And again, especially, dude, let me tell you something. Dudes will, oh, man. when you got a slimy friend Bro. in your group, oh, man. man listen, Boy, th- it's a try. misconception that, that women just be out there being catty. Men be out there running their lips like they are a damn yeah. talk show host. Yeah. They're like, bro, they are that job. we came here to watch that job, the next contestant. We came here to watch the Behind game. Behind door number two. We came here to watch the game. You have told me Janine's whole oh, wow. uh, relationship set. I'm like, bro, what? what? That, that be that that be that barbershop talk. Huh? No, that no, that ain't nah, even barbershop. Ain't bar- barbershop no. talk is about sports. Yeah, that ain't, ain't barbershop talk. That's, that's gossip. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's gossip. gossip. <laughs> like that's outside. Oh, the first nice day you came outside. Well, look at Janine. She got on the, uh, look, the little. Um, I, I never really realized until like over the years how petty guys are. No. Like they can be more petty. Oh yeah, than, yeah, than yeah, they are. Are. yeah, yes, yes, yes. It, God, again, yeah. If you think yeah. if you think a woman told your business, more than likely it was a dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might have thought it was her. It was she might have told him thinking like this is my guy. We cool. He didn't ran back and told everybody. Yeah, yeah Janine. I wouldn't believe the things that I've heard from guys. Listen, that, I've heard. Let me say something. That's because of I said it again. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Men aren't men anymore. Now mm. I'm saying men are like catty teenage girls. Yeah, I'm, prove me wrong, goddamn it! It's crazy out here in these streets. Meet me outside. <laughs> Meet me outside. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, yeah, how about that? Oh man, this is your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, we y'all. Appreciate y'all. y'all. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, y'all man. for tuning in every week. We're coming to the end of the show. Show 100. 100. Hey, 100. Zero, zero. Right. Show 100. Listen, we want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. We will catch y'all next week. You know what I'm saying? Just join podcast, man. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, put the camera on T. Go ahead, T. Go ahead, go ahead. Send us Peace. off. There it is. There it is. It's been.
Miss Trump. Good night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you deuces. We love y'all. <laughs>